All right, this is a follow-on video to the filter video we posted before. Uh, as previously stated, we've been in the koi pond business for a while. Uh, we got into manufacturing aquaponics, tanks, filters, and grow beds. Uh, this is the filter that was featured in the last video. This is the complete system, minus the rafts, which I'll explain about here in a second. And to give you a quick walk through the system, First we have a fish tank, rough calculation is about 365 gallons. Water flows into the fish tank, it runs out the overflow there on the, the end. After it runs out of the overflow, it runs into the filter. First stage of filtration is your vortex filter, your solid settlement filter. Uh, what's interesting about uh, the way this one's set up, which has two bell siphons, uh, is as the bell siphons ebb and flow, there's about a two minute cycle where the water in the vortex filter will sit completely still. Uh, right now it's actually flowing pretty good. Uh, as water comes out of the vortex filter, it goes into the first compartment, it's forced under the first compartment, it rises up into the second compartment, flows over this divider, and it's picked up at the bottom. Once it's picked up at the bottom, it overflows out the overflow here and is put into the grow beds. Uh, water comes out via one of any one of the four three-quarter inch elbows here. Alright. These first three systems, your first three grow beds will be your your run-of-the-mill floating raft systems. Um, right now we're working on a fiberglass topper. Uh, that will go on top of these as opposed to the standard styrofoam. Benefit in fiberglass being fiberglass lasts about 30 years whereas the styrofoam that is used in most raft systems lasts about a year before it starts to break apart and become unusable. Uh, what we have on the end here is inch and a half PVC and what this does is equalize the water level between all four grow beds. Uh, Hopefully by next week we should have one fiberglass topper ready to demo test and see how it works. Uh, regardless, uh, we're going to go ahead and put at the very least two floating raft systems, your standard styrofoam in here so we can get it up and going and you guys can see how it works. Alright, first three are floating rafts. Last one is media filled, uh, river rock. As water comes in from the other grow beds here and from the filter here, it slowly starts to fill up this bed, at which point the bell siphon will start to drain it down. Once it drains past the bell, through the bell siphon, it makes a run all the way down to the end where it drains into the sump. As we go down to the sump. see that there's the water coming out of the bell siphon right now. You can also see there's another piece of PVC right there which is a basic overflow. Uh, the reason we did that is it was so unbelievably impossible to time the two bell siphons together uh, so as that it didn't run the sump dry. Uh, the easiest solution was just to put a, an overflow in or a stand tube provides a constant flow of water down into the sump so as the sump never runs dry. Alright, as the sump begins to, full, to fill up, water is picked up by the pump, pushed up this line, and flows back into another gravel bed. We've got a little drain tube right there uh, and another bell siphon. And just as with the first one, once the water level reaches a certain point, the bell siphon goes ahead and opens up and releases it into the fish tank. And the process repeats. The overflow is refilled, the water goes back to the filter. Alright, this other giant piece of PVC right here is actually a rainwater trap. Water here in Florida is extremely expensive. So what we've done is we've tapped into the gutter system to go ahead and catch the rainwater as it comes down 
and allow ourselves to fill our fish tank with rainwater. Uh, I did put a clean out on it, uh, occasionally catch little rocks and stuff off the roof, um, doing it this way. Uh, most of the rocks get caught right there and nothing but clean water flows out. Uh, one more time, quick overview, gravel bed. Another floating raft system and graffiti by one of my employees. Another floating raft system with a stand tube that drains into the sump. The filter. Another media fill bed. Nothing more than river rock. Uh, it's about $80 a yard, I'm sh pretty sure. And each one of these beds holds roughly a half yard. Uh, the dimensions on these beds roughly four foot by five foot by twelve inches uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment on the video you can always reach me at pawsdog at gmail.com uh, our intent is to market the systems uh, right now we've done the math and we can provide a tank three beds and a filter for under two grand Again, configuration op options are up to the individual. Uh, you can set these on the ground and put the sump on the side. Uh, for me, I went ahead and raised them on brick. Uh, as my back is shot from 10 years in the Marine Corps, and I didn't want to do a whole bunch of bending down as I worked with the plants and such, so I brought it up to about hip level. Again, any questions, feel free to comment on the video, or you can email me directly at pawsdog at gmail.com uh, Thank you.